Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another example of how to find the magnetic field near the presence of two current carrying wires. In this case, though, the two wires are not running parallel to one another, they're running perpendicular to one another. And we're trying to find the magnetic field at this location 10 centimeters away from current carrying wire one and 20 centimeters away from current carrying wire two. Again, assuming that the wires are infinitely long relative to the position of this point to the two wires. All right, the best thing to do is to find the direction of the magnetic field at that location due to the two wires using your right hand rule, starting with wire number one, point your, fingers, point your thumb in the direction of the current and then your fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. Notice that below this wire right here, the magnetic field will be into the board. So using a red color here, so I1 is going to cause a magnetic field into the board right here, we'll call that B1. So again, thumb in direction of current, the fingers curl in direction of magnetic field, in front of the wire will be down, below the wire will be into the board. Now, going to this wire right here, current is in this direction, point your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers will curl in the direction of magnetic field. Notice that to the right of this wire right here, the magnetic field will be coming out of the board, so we can indicate that with a point right there and that would be relative to this wire right there. And so that would be B2. And what we have to do now is find the magnitude of each of those and then add them together. So, magnitude of B1 is equal to, the equation we use is um, mu sub naught divided by 2 pi times the um, strength of the current, which would be I1, divided by the distance away from that wire, which would be R1. Notice that R1 right here would be this distance here, so let's call this R1, and this here that would be called R2. For the second magnetic field, B2, we use the same equation, it's mu sub naught times I2 divided by 2 pi times R2. And now we can go ahead and plug in the numbers and figure out what those are. So this is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 teslas meters per amps multiplied times the current I1 equal to 8 amps divided by 2 pi times R1 and R1 in this case would be 10 centimeters converted to meters is 0 0.1 meters. Okay, the 4 pi and the 2 pi cancel, this becomes 1, this becomes 2 using a calculator what do we get for the first value? So it's uh, 2 e to the 7 minus uh, times 8 divided by 0.1. And we get 16, or is it 16, or 1.6. So this is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. Amps cancel out amps, meters cancel out meters, so you get teslas. The second uh, magnetic field value here would be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 teslas meters per amps. Multiply this times the current, I2, which is 5 amps, divided by 2 pi, and multiply times the distance, and R2 would be 20 centimeters or 0.2 meters. Again, amps cancel out amps, meters cancel out meters, you end up with teslas. Let's see how big that is, and again, this cancels out, makes that 2. So 2 e to the 7 minus times 5 divided by 0 0.2 equals, and we get 5. 5 times 10 to the minus 6, or 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas to keep the same exponential there so we can compare the two. All right, now we want to add them together. Let's say that into the board is negative, out of the board is positive, so the sum of the two B total is simply B1 plus B2, and B1 has a value of 1.6 times 10, 10 to the minus 5 teslas. Now, B1 is into the board, so that's going to be a negative value, like so, and uh, that will be in the negative Z direction. B2 comes out of the board, that's going to be a positive value, so it's plus 0.5 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas in the positive z direction. So we sum them together. The total magnetic field caused by those two wires running in different directions is equal to minus 1.6 
plus a 0.5, that would be a minus 0 0.9. Oh, no, no, not 0 0.9. That would be a minus 1.1 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas in the z direction. It's going to be in the negative z direction. So the final magnetic field is going to be into the board with a value of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. And that's how you do a problem like that. All right, now we'll do some examples of finding magnetic fields caused by loops of wire or uh, coils of wire. So let's show you some examples doing that.